Welcome to the sweet spot of electric scooter buying. If your budget for purchasing a scooter is somewhere between a thousand and two thousand dollars, then you have a ton of amazing options and I'm going to cover all the best ones in this video. This is where the best balance of price to performance lies. I've ridden close to 200 electric scooters and some of my favorite scooters of all time fall into this price category. I'm going to start at a thousand dollars and work my way up to two thousand dollars. Links to the scooters can be found down below. Let's jump in. Let's start at a thousand to twelve hundred dollars. Here you're going to encounter the least expensive full suspension dual motor electric scooters on the market. There's some steals at this price starting with one of my favorite scooters ever, the Varla Pegasus. This scooter was eleven or twelve hundred dollars at release, but I see it consistently on sale for under a thousand right now. This scooter punches way above its price with dual motors, a top speed of almost 30 miles an hour, full suspension, tubeless tires, super solid build, and tested long-term reliability. I've had my original Varla Pegasus for about 4 years with no problems. Another steal at this price is the Cabo Mantis 8 dual motor from Cabo USA. Again, this was about a $1200 scooter at launch, but I see it under $1000 most of the time. Similar to the Pegasus, you get a scooter that is reliable and punches above its weight in performance with dual motors and full suspension. It's a bit slower than the Pegasus with the top speed of 25 miles an hour, but has the advantage in portability with a lower weight and slightly smaller dimensions. The more modern alternative to these two scooters is the Apollo Go, which is $1200 and was released this year. It is the most up-to-date dual motor electric scooter around this price and has a top speed of 25 miles an hour. Apollo has rolled down a bunch of the best features from their top of the line Apollo Pro model down to this model. Things like the slick design, throttle and regen brake style, the quad lock mount so your phone can act as your display, and the folding lock among other things. This is arguably Apollo's best value scooter that they currently offer. If you want to maximize your performance in this price range, the GoTrax GX1 and GX2 are your best friends. These aren't the best looking scooters in my opinion with a pretty boxy shape. But with a top speed of 30 miles an hour for the GX1 and 35 miles an hour for the GX2, as well as a price tag of $1,000 and $1,300 respectively, they're hard to beat when it comes to performance for your dollar. They also have features to support this performance like quad spring suspension with good damping, tubeless tires, wide handlebars, a great thumb throttle design, and a large rear tail. Another performance oriented option at this price is the Awesome Gallop or the Kugo Kirin G3 Pro. This is the same dual motor scooter from two different brands. They're the same because they come from the same manufacturer, Titan, who's been around for a long time and makes great scooters. The Gallop is the cheaper of the two options right now at just $1,100, and for that price you get a scooter capable of over 35 miles an hour, which is almost impossible to find elsewhere. You also get great suspension, a nice large center display, and a removable battery. The trade-off is that some of the small things like the cheap plastic throttle and buttons and the tubed rather than tubeless tires aren't quite on par with some of the other scooters at this price. This is a good option for someone who wants a reliable, performance-focused scooter at a pretty absurd price and doesn't mind some small compromises. Now, the other direction to go at this price is portability over power. If you don't care about dual motors and the higher top speeds, there are a number of high-quality portable scooter options. First is the carbon fiber new KQI Air and Air X. At 26 pounds, this is close to the lightest electric scooter you can get, and it is for sure the lightest scooter that you can get that's still actually built well with decent performance numbers. It is one of the few scooters on this list that can be legitimately carried with one hand for an extended period of time. You're not going to be breaking any acceleration or top speed records at the price, but that's not why you get this scooter. This is perfect for short trips to the grocery store or a coffee shop or the gas station for a snack. You can carry it into just about any business or building instead of having to leave it outside and lock it up. The Fluid Vista is not so much aimed at portability as it is aimed at staying low maintenance. With solid tires and a straightforward powerful single motor, it's a dream for someone who hates changing a flat tire or messing with maintenance too much. It has a huge platform as well for a ton of different possible riding positions, which helps with fatigue on long rides. If you want to prioritize making your commute as comfortable and stress-free as possible, rather than using your scooter primarily for recreation, then this is the way to go at the price. If all you care about is range, then the eMove Cruiser S is unparalleled. This scooter has had a few minor refreshes, but it is getting a bit outdated. It's slated to get a major refresh in the near future, but it still right now probably has the best range for your dollar on the market. Its age also means that it's on sale pretty consistently. Overall, you get a lot of scooter for the price, despite a few dated features and design choices. 
Now jumping up a performance and price tier, the mid-range scooters around $1,500 offer adrenaline pumping fun at the most approachable prices. You start to get speeds over 30 miles an hour at this price, which is honestly more than any person realistically needs. Varla pops up again on this list with the new Eagle One 2.0. The scooter got a major refresh in 2023 with improvements across the board. You get speeds of close to 40 miles an hour, a solid modern design, all-terrain capable tires and suspension, and lots of the latest scooter features like the large center display, my favorite thumb throttle on the market, and a solid easy to use folding mechanism. This is the scooter that seems to cast the widest net with features, performance, and a price that should appease most riders no matter how you plan to use it. The Apollo City is a similarly priced alternative that focuses more on commuting and street riding. Like the Apollo Go, you get lots of the same cool features that were first introduced on the Apollo Pro. You get some of the best regen braking on the market and plenty of speed and hill climbing all in a super sleek looking package. If you have no intention of riding regularly off-road and you want the best looking scooter at the price, the city is the way to go. The price of the Segway GT1 has finally come down to a reasonable spot and at $1,550 can finally genuinely recommend it. This breaks the trend of dual motor scooters, but do not sleep on this scooter. It beats the majority of scooters listed here to 30 miles an hour and has better hill climbing power than most as well. For me, its biggest shortcoming is its size. This thing is gargantuan and makes hauling it around a huge pain. Its size and weight also makes the suspension a bit mushy. The design and performance should easily make up for its shortcomings though, especially at its current price. For a scooter that can rip it up off-road, the Cowboy Wolf Warrior X is just about the only scooter in this price category that fits the bill. Lots of power, great range, a bulletproof build, knobby off-road tires, and dual stem suspension makes this the perfect candidate for tearing up your local bike trails or dirt jumps. The Wolf Warrior series has been around for a long time and it's a proven reliable platform and design. Stepping up to the $1,800 to $2,000 category, you start to get into performance-focused sport scooters, kind of like the Porsche 911s or the Nissan GTRs of the scooter world. The MaxFun 10 Pro shares a lot of similarities with the Eagle One 2.0, but levels everything up a bit with upgraded acceleration and speed, PMT racing tires, name brand LG battery cells, and sine wave controllers for that buttery smooth throttle feel. You also get increased efficiency with the 72 volt battery. I genuinely have yet to test anything that is as sporty and as fun at this price. This wouldn't be an Arcanine Rides video without mentioning the Nami Klima, and technically this falls a bit outside of the $2,000 price limit with it sitting at $21 to $2,200 most of the time. I have occasionally seen it as low as $1,999, so I'm going to put it on this list. This is my all-time favorite scooter with the best suspension and fastest acceleration in its class, all while still folding down to a reasonable size. Nami is unparalleled when it comes to the riding experience, and I will own and I'll probably ride this scooter until I die because I doubt anything is coming along soon that can compete with it. The Varla Eagle One Pro is my choice in this price category for a hybrid scooter that can handle both on and off-road riding while maintaining a traditional single-stem scooter design. This thing's built like a tank, matches the other scooters in top speed, and has bigger 11-inch tires for better shock absorption. As the name implies, this is basically a bigger, faster version of the regular Eagle One 2.0 and is a great choice if you like what the Eagle One offers but want something with more power and capability. The Apollo Phantom is not the quickest scooter on this list, but it's potentially the most polished. Apollo has gone through four versions of the scooter to get it where it is, and it's been refined to include exactly what a street rider or commuter wants in a scooter. High quality components and build, quad spring suspension, and the best regen braking on the market make it extremely comfortable and confidence inspiring. It still also offers a 40 mile an hour top speed, so it's no slouch. Other scooters do beat it to 30 miles an hour by a decent margin, but if you prefer comfort and style over pure performance, this is the scooter for you. I hope this helps your search for the perfect scooter in your budget. There are some other really great scooters in this price range, but I tried to avoid having too many scooters that fit the same niche to help your decision process be a little more simple. For example, I think the Cabo Mantis King GT is a fantastic scooter and for $2,000 offers everything you would want at the price. However, I believe it's just barely outclassed in almost every category by the Nami Klima. Same applies for the Cabo Mantis V2 and the Cabo Mantis Pro SE. Again, they're great options around the $1,500 price category, but the other scooters mentioned are more modern and do everything as well or better than these scooters. And it was just a coincidence that all three of those examples were Mantises, by the way. The other options at this price that didn't make the list typically missed it due to ride feel and overall comfort. 
construction quality could be good, performance could be up to par or even exceptional, but if it isn't a joy to ride, whether that's due to poor suspension or strange geometry or something else, I didn't include it on this list. No Dualtron scooters were present because 1. There aren't a lot of scooters in this price segment from Dualtron and 2. The ones in this price range tend to be a bit overpriced for what you get and I wanted this list to be full of great bang for the buck scooters. So with all that said, what did I miss? Do you have a favorite scooter at this price? Or maybe you have your eye on one in this price range that I didn't mention. Let me know down below and I'll try to answer any questions you have. Thanks for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and get subbed for more electric scooter content and I'll see you in the next one.